as Hussein Yegan Herad, something like that, from Canada, <laughs> to come up and present his talk on how the cause of diarrhea and constipation can be identified in honeybees. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity to be here and uh, uh, sharing my experience in beekeeping. I'd like to introduce myself in last in one or two minutes before talk about the presentations. Uh, basically, uh, I'm a commercial beekeeper, I'm running 5,000 hives in Canada and more than 2,000 in Iran. Most of uh, bee disease basically is, is the same all over the world. Uh, but the system and for disease treatment in Middle East, in Iran, in every country is regulated differently. But our running lab, uh, basically few lab, and also have opportunity of using government lab in Iran for uh, biological, bio, in biotechnology and microbiology <coughs> to test loss of uh, disease. Basically, it doesn't cost me much. But my experience in bee disease in uh, Canada was much different in, than Canada <coughs> because it's much more colder climate than Iran. Basically, in this presentation, uh, well, this is a part of my picture around 95, 96 uh, in Iran when I was doing beekeeping with the family. Um, basically, I'm talking about a few topics here. Topics here is um, basically metabolic disease. It should be prevented. How should be prevented instead of getting involved with the treatments. Also uh, about what causes uh, metabolic disease, uh, metabolism disease, uh, and how we identify it because. Some country like Canada, we have a, such a short time after long winter to identify disease and cure the colony. But by one mistake, we make and lose the operation. And also, system for treatment has to be uh, scalable for larger scale. Um, uh, the other thing is uh, the solution, basically, how we uh, come with a method uh, to uh, basically do the treatment in larger scale. Um, uh, most of uh, metabolism disease and basically has a diarrhea symptoms, uh, especially in cold climate, uh, in base, uh, especially in warm climate. But cold climate, mostly we can get sometimes with uh, constipation symptoms. Uh, uh, some of uh, basically these uh, sign of disease, it can be identified in front of eyes, like from Nozema opis and constipations. Nozema surround and some of the amoeba and protozoa, which is, uh, is not always we see as a disease what we taking the sample to the lab always uh, is <coughs> symptoms. Basically what we find as a microbial issue, it doesn't mean always has to be either Nozema surround or Nozema opis. It can be many other uh, microbes uh, temporarily causing the problems. Um, like most of uh, basically these metabolism disease either related to Nozema opis, Nozema serrana, amoeba, or uh, basically moisture in the honey or using too much of antibiotics uh, or fermentation in the basically syrup. When some of the beekeepers they feed uh, late in fall and weather get cold, some of the syrup doesn't get processed, there's high moisture in the honey, it can bring uh, <coughs> symptoms of di diarrhea, especially end of the winters. Mm. Basically, yeah, in cold climate like Canada, like Alberta, except Vancouver area, most area in early spring, uh, we see loss of defecation system on front of hives, but uh, or loss of bees has a diarrhea. They, they are constipated. But most beekeeper, before they recognizing the system, maybe they using antibiotics, which is has no reason. It uh, on the solution side, I will explain that how that can be prevented. Mm, usually, it doesn't matter diarrhea or constipation problem. When honey flow is stuck we see over 90% reduce of the symptoms of the disease on front of the hives. It shows uh, the honey and pollen, basically natural flow has a very good effect on uh, preventions <coughs> and uh, treatments. Um, basically, but the part of it, it coming to here, when we, uh, for the beekeepers, all the beekeepers, they are not have access to the lab, or some countries, they don't have, they're not uh, regulated properly, or. Uh, they don't have some, so much time to get sample, get uh, basically um, tested to come with the proper solution. Even from many places, even when the sample is taken to the lab, the solution doesn't mean uh, it will work either with formaginins or any other products. But basically, time limit is very short. For the many beekeepers, I talk again mostly as a beekeepers how we do this uh, kind of works. 
and uh, we how we can identify the <coughs> symptoms by uh, we touch any lab equipment. The part of it that's with lab equipment is one issue, but how beekeepers can do it. The, usually, the bees rectum when you see it basically. Yeah, but if I can show it here. No, this, okay, yeah. If, if, yeah. If we pay attention to this part, usually the. Okay, this one is good. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> if we check the metabolism, if we taking off, if there's no pollen digested, and usually come white and fat. It shows some kind of microbial problems, either it's amoeba or protozoan, or zimopis, or serrano, anything. But uh, we don't, we wouldn't see uh, digested pollen in rectum. We will see lots of liquid, watery forms. But for the much more uh, proper understanding, the lab will identify the cause of them. But in normal condition, in the constipations, basically, if it's a, we see the dry pollen is sitting in metabolisms, also in rectum, bees cannot defecate the pollens. Uh, it can be treated very fast, but if beekeepers is not aware of it, uh, I have the experience of losing over half of operations, or actually neighbors beekeepers, in less than 10 days or less than two weeks. Um, the, basically, the method to, um, basically, well, is a, I don't talk much about the lab stuff here, but is a, with the team doing the other part of the works. So what they do mostly in North America, what the method they use, the only one thing uh, I would say uh, I do it a different way, we take a sample from every individual hives to do it because in most AFP hive, uh, sorry, miss most uh, Nozema opis or diarrhea colony hives, if we take a sample from five or six hives, only one hive is in fact <laughs> infected, we can see so many sporing basically Many, uh, basically, the number shows pretty high. We think basically such a, uh, basically such a difficult situation. We have to do some immediate uh, plan for the treatment. But uh, a Nozema apis diarrhea, or if it's especially, is so much moisture in the colonies or fermented honey, it cannot be as even pathogen or disease. So it can be individual problem in the colony. Um, yeah, basically, um, over 60% of uh, defecation is a uh, when it's a liquidy, is a uh, has when we opening when we checking the hives, especially early uh, end of winters, when we looking the defecation is a liquidy, as a looking seen forms in the basically in the after defecation, the moisture can be absorbed, and non-digested pollen it shows is a uh, basically. 